the best game settings in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 4 FPS Boost. Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 4 has recently launched, and to give you a significant edge in this latest season, here are the optimal user settings, installation preferences, epic game launcher commands, and in-game adjustments that you should consider using. To get started, the initial step is to open your Epic Games Launcher. Click on the icon located in the top right corner, which should display your username. From there, navigate to the Settings option. Under the Preferences section, I recommend using the settings shown on the screen. Additionally, make sure to disable desktop notifications below as they can lead to minor interruptions during your gaming sessions. Continuing on, scroll down further and select the Fortnite option. Once you've accessed the Fortnite settings, Locate and click on the checkbox labeled Additional Command Line Arguments. Within this field, you'll want to paste the following command, LAN Play No Splash Use All Available Cores. Here's a breakdown of what each part of this command does. LAN Play helps improve your ping. No Splash speeds up your game's loading process. Use All Available Cores provides a slight FPS boost. Ensure that your settings match the configuration mentioned above. Once you've made these adjustments, you can simply back out and the changes will be saved automatically. Next, you'll need to open the Run dialog by pressing the Windows key and R together. In the Run box, type percentage sign local app data percentage sign and then press Enter. This will take you to the local app data folder. Inside this folder, locate the Epic Games Launcher folder and navigate into it. Then, proceed to the saved folder followed by the config folder. Within the config folder, find the Windows directory. Inside the Windows directory, there should be an engine file. Open this file and if there's any code in it, delete it. It's possible that the file is empty. Now, you'll want to paste in a specific code that can significantly improve your download speed during Fortnite updates or game installations via the Epic Games launcher. You can find the code for copying and pasting in the description below. This adjustment aims to enhance the speed of your downloads when using the Epic Games launcher. Additionally, you can also perform the following steps. Press Ctrl-Alt-Delete to access the Task Manager, locate the Epic Games Launcher process, and set its priority to high. After completing this, return to the Epic Games Launcher, navigate to the library, select Fortnite, click on the three horizontal dots, and access the options. Inside this menu, ensure that the Save the World option is unchecked to free up additional storage space. Regarding high-resolution textures, it's a matter of personal preference as it enhances the game's visual quality even on low graphic settings, but it does consume more storage. If you choose to uncheck it, you'll experience a slight increase in FPS due to reduced game quality. Next, let's address DirectX 12 shaders. If you're not utilizing DirectX 12, it's advisable to deselect this option. By doing so, you'll conserve additional storage space. Lastly, consider enabling Disabled Cosmetic Streaming, which I strongly recommend. This feature pre-downloads game assets, resulting in quicker game loading times and potentially improved performance. Afterwards, return to your desktop and press the Windows key plus R. Then navigate to your local app data folder by entering percentage local app data percentage into the run dialog. Inside this folder, search for the Fortnite game directory. Here, we're going to reset the entire configuration to eliminate outdated files and replace them with up-to-date ones. Some people prefer to make a backup by adding a 1 to the end of the folder name, but I personally don't backup so I won't do that. You may choose to backup depending on your preference. Once you've renamed or backed up the folder, it will disappear temporarily but don't worry, it will reappear as a fresh one when you start the game. However, before launching the game, click on the three horizontal dots Go to Manage and verify your game files. This process will check all of your game files to ensure they are functioning correctly, preventing any potential issues like corruption or crashes. I recommend doing this regularly, such as the start of each new season, as it can help prevent game crashes and various bugs. Once you've completed the previous steps, you can proceed to launch the game. When you do, you might notice that your game defaults to the Epic Graphics settings. To revert them to your preferred settings, simply navigate to the in-game settings menu. Fortunately, you won't need to adjust your other settings like sensitivities because those are saved in the cloud. Regarding video settings, it's a good practice to optimize these for maximum performance. You can choose performance mode, which is not only visually cleaner for spotting enemies but also provides better performance. 
brightness and other settings like these are a matter of personal preference, but for the best performance, it's advisable to set all graphic settings to the lowest options available. Set your 3D resolution to the maximum and you can turn off the rest of the settings that are not needed. As a final step, another adjustment I like to make is activating the NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency feature. Personally, I prefer having it set to on because I believe it works best for my computer. However, if you have a high-end PC, you might find on plus boost more suitable. Furthermore, on your desktop, press the Windows key and the letter R again. Then, enter percentage local app data percentage. Locate the fresh Fortnite game configuration file and open it. Afterward, navigate to the saved folder, then config, and finally, Windows Client. Inside this directory, you'll find your completely new game user settings file. Within this game user settings file, you have the freedom to customize various command lines. To optimize for maximum performance, ensure that all scalability groups are set to zero, while keeping the resolution quality at 100%. I've thoroughly reviewed the settings for this season, and as far as I can tell, there haven't been any changes. However, if I've missed anything, please let me know.